welcome to Crazy TV. So today we're gonna be talking about all about the Korean Army and some famous celebrities that have tried to avoid the mandatory military service. So I'm just gonna run down the facts about the Korean Army. So number one biggest question is, do all men have to serve in the military? And the answer is yes. All men in South Korea must serve in the military for about two years. So why is this mandatory? The constitution of South Korea from 1957 states that all men must serve in the military. And technically the war has never ended between North and South Korea because we have never signed a peace treaty together. So between age 18 and 35, all men must serve in the military. There's actually a new law that passed, I think last year. Men must enlist by age 28. So many celebrities that had turned 28 this year, they must must go without any reason. So some of the celebrities that must enlist in 2019 because they turned Korean age 20 is Big Bang Sun Lee, EXO Shieldman, Haile Young Yosef and Lee Ki Kwang, B2B, Loco, 2PM, FT Island, VIX, BAP, Infinite, Block B. So I'm sure some of these celebrities are your favorite and I know it's so hard to see them go for two years. So right now there's about over half a million of military soldiers and why do we need such a big military base? right now. The large army is necessary to properly guard the 160 mile long demilitarized zone. There's actually that line that separates North and South Korea and you guys have seen those where the North Korean soldier and the South Korean soldiers are literally face to face. I'm pretty sure it's 24 hours a day and it's kind of like that tension point where they're just staring at each other to see if they cause any trouble or try to invade the other country. A lot of people ask, can you be exempt from the military? And the answer is not really. It's very very hard to get out of the military. The only people that could be actually exempt from the whole military service is if you have intense mental and physical issues. But there are ways that you could serve a bit of a less crucial time in the army such as applying for the public officer. Also you can be exempt from the military if, if you are a gold medalist in the sporting competitions or certain art competitions such as classical musician, ballet, pianist, Asia soccer games. If you try to intend avoid the military you can be jailed or if you are in your military service you have a vacation and you never come back back to your base you can be jailed as well private first level which is just the lowest level ranking you only get about $275 a month back in the 80s when my dad said he went to the military he actually said the wage was couple dollars all men must have a buzz cut hair there's always a lot of backlash against celebrities and sons of high ranking officials who get special jobs or they're exempt from the harsh military service and they get special treatments. Did you know that after the two years of military service you still have to annually attend the military once a year for six years? What is it like inside the army? You cannot use your phones but nowadays you are allowed to get a little bit of phone time and internet time. There's a lot of cases where seniors abuse the juniors and this has been going for years and years. So there's a lot of people who actually get very bad tra traumatized. There's a lot of suicide cases because psychologically people can't take these unexcusable abuses from their seniors. There's, you know, even rape cases. You guys know that senior and junior status is very, very important in Korea. And unfortunately, in the military service, a lot of people abuse the status. One of the hardest things that you must do at the Korean army military is that you have to go inside the gas-filmed rooms, a training for a chemical attack. Now, this apparently is one of the worst things you could do in the army military. Military. You are yelled at consistently. You don't have a voice there You can only do what you're told to do and nothing else certain things to fail a physical exam includes extreme weight gain Extreme weight loss now even my dad served in the military back in 1980s back then It was about two and a half years. They provided the soldiers with cigarette once a week So my dad actually said he started smoking in the military because they provided free cigarettes I'm pretty sure they don't do that anymore. If you don't listen to your seniors or higher ranking officials, you can get a beating. Back in the 80s, my dad also said you only get to have a shower once a month. Wow. And there's a rumor that if you do bring like your pretty sister or pretty girlfriend or friends that are girls, you do have a much easier time of the seniors treating you. And it's kind of like an exchange. If, if you do allow your pretty sisters or your friends to introduce to the seniors or people around you, they won't give you a hard time. So let's go to the celebrities who try to intentionally avoid the military service. Why do celebrities desperately want to push back the military or just be exam? Because being away for two 
two years in the military is really debilitating in your career. People might forget you. I mean, two years is technically a long time. There's new people coming into the entertainment wave and your spot might just be taken away. First controversy was a guy named Steve Yu. He was one of the most famous solo male singers back in the early 2000s and late 90s. Steve Yu actually grew up in America since he was 13 years old. He went back to Korea to pursue his singing career. Now he promised the public that he will serve in the Korean military. Yeah. Right before he was about to be drafted, he actually gave up his Korean citizenship and just became solely US citizen, which required him not to serve in the military. There was a huge public bash that he was actually trying to purposely avoid the military service. And after that public outrage, the Korean government banned him from ever entering Korea forever. Oh my God. It's been about like almost 20 years since this has happened. He has his own side of the story that he didn't know that this was happening. It was more like his father doing this behind his back. In 2015, he appeared in a video pleading to the Korean government to allow him back into to Korea that he will do whatever it takes. That was denied and in 2017 in a court hearing he lost and the court decided that he could not ever appeal this decision ever again. So basically he is permanently banned in Korea for the rest of his life which is honestly really sad. I don't know like I am like kind of like on the fence about it. My personal belief is that you know there should be something called forgiveness. So what do you guys think? Second case, Hong Seung Yeon is actually a very famous actor in Korea. He allegedly took drugs to fail the health exam. He also drank excessive drugs that made him diagnosed as high blood pressure and diabetes. Now the fake test was obviously exposed and he actually admitted to his mistakes and went to the army. Similar case, Chang Yeok is also a famous movie star in Korea. Same as Hong Seung Yeon, he took a lot of drugs to fail the test and apparently there's a rumor that he possibly, you can apparently pay a broker to falsify his urine testings. Sai, uh. did you know Sai had a military scandal. So back in the days, he already served as an office worker in the army, but apparently people found out that he had 52 concerts and appeared in TV during his time in the military. Apparently earning money during your military service is illegal in Korea, so you can't do any other activities. So this caused a big backlash. He ended up having to redo his service in 2007. So he actually served about four years total in his life in the military. Actually, a lot of Koreans applauded him for going back to the military. Wuya is also an actor in Korea and this was a special case because his claim for exemption in the military was poverty. Now you can be exempt from the military for extreme poverty. For example, if you're the sole income for your whole entire family, if you do go to the military, like what, what is your family gonna do? But in this case, he had a lot of backlash because technically like a celebrity job isn't considered as a normal job. So he did end up going to the military. MC Mong, this is one of the most famous cases of avoiding military service. M. Simon allegedly took out his healthy teeth in order to evade the military service. Apparently, if you have a very low count of teeth, you can be examined. Probably you have to work in the office jobs instead of like the harsh military. Now, he was later cleared of all charges, but unfortunately, his public image was badly, badly damaged. After that, he did not appear on TV, but he does have a very, very big and successful producer career right now. Now, lastly, there was a very big question among should BTS be examined from the military because you know you have classical musicians who can be examined if they get the gold medal so shouldn't other singers get to be examined a lot of people thought that BTS should be examined because they're doing a lot for the South Korean country now it was ruled that BTS do you have to serve in the military I want your opinion if you guys think that some pop stars should be examined so I hope you guys that cleared a lot of questions about the Korean army I want to hear your opinion let me know what you guys think if there is a mandatory service in your country i would love to hear what it's like there if you like this video remember to hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye